get things started um, with today's media availabilities. We will start with 2014 Archibon Arc Series National Champion and native of West Des Moines, Iowa, and 2015 winner right here at Iowa Speedway, Mason Mitchell. Mason, did you have first uh, Archibon Arc Series start in many, many years? Uh, can you talk us through the thought process of uh, why you're back running this race today? and? Uh, What's, the, what's your outlook? Yeah, no, I've uh, wanted to be back here for a long time. And uh, in 18, kind of knowing it was going to be my final start for a little bit at that time, not knowing what the future held. So, um, but I knew this was home. This is always where I wanted to be and uh, be racing full time again at some point. But um, yeah, we were just fortunate and blessed with this opportunity together late fall last year, just having the momentum from the dirt track racing stuff, um, all local stuff here. and had some great, amazing partners that we were able to um, piggyback off of, and just everybody putting this uh, deal together. So we ran a race earlier in the year, didn't go as planned, but we uh, worked out all the bugs, and uh, I feel really good about tonight. All right, we will open it up for questions here in the media room. We'll start with Jim Otter. Jim Otter, motorsport.com. Hey, Mason. How's it going, Jim? Uh, you have engaged in some various other ventures since you were competing full-time. What? brings you back to racing 10 years later. Yeah, um, well, it's just been like my main passion and like my first love. It's truly really what I love to do. Um, you know, it's interesting you, you asked that question because uh, I, I have done very, uh, a lot of different things over the last few years with you know, different business things and hobbies and, and sports and stuff. And um, <clears throat> when I was able to get back full-time racing last year and getting in victory lane and winning a lot, I, I, I realized quick that all that other stuff was just, I was filling voids and that void was just missing racing. So um, there, there's nothing like uh, what racing does to me. It's really hard to explain, um, you know, mentally, physically, uh, spiritually in a way too. Um, but yeah, no, it's uh, it's been a long journey, but um, I'm just uh, just really grateful to be here and uh, it just means the world to me, really. And we'll slide right over to Chris. Chris Mike, Chris. Nice back home. Hi. Uh, so I have a fun question and then I have a serious question. And so the fun question is, is the Superman teacher still hanging up in the closet in the, in the, in the hallway? <laughs> um, it, it's here tonight, yeah. Uh, the, unfortunately, the, the, the rules have changed a little bit since I last competed and you have to wear, uh, I guess, Nomex firework. Uh, so um, I've been thinking about ideas how to incorporate that tonight. Um, I won't let anyone down that will say that. Okay, all right. My serious, our serious question is, is you've accomplished many accolades both on and off the racetrack since you stepped away from full-time racing, but it's certainly back to your win at Iowa and given how it came about, winning on the, on the late race restart on the last lap, what was your emotions and feelings like knowing that you crossed the start finish line and had one of your home tracks, something that you would want them to do? Yeah, that was uh, huge. It was the most critical and, and the biggest thing we've ever accomplished is more important to me than the championship. Um, just growing up here and experiencing the first ever race here, that night was wild. It was it was way harder than it was tonight. Um, I never really publicly admitted it, but there was moments in the car that I truly contemplated on, on quitting because I I was hallucinating. I was seeing dots and green stuff, and uh, I didn't have any water and airflow. I just did a really poor job as far as far as preparing for myself for the race. Um, and that kind of that race changed my whole life as far as just making it a routine in my daily lifestyle. But um, we just kept working on it and, and dug deep. We were really bad all night, and then we just had a great pit crew, good pit stops, good adjustments, put us in a position, and uh, the restarts fell our way. We had that last lap restart, which was insane. So it's amazing what adrenaline will do to you, um, and that led us really to that victory. So that was by far the coolest moment in my racing career in life, um, and I think if we uh, do that again tonight, it will be even more important, it'll be even bigger than that, just because I have so many more people in my life now, and really important people, and a lot of family, sponsors. Um, but I, I just feel like there's so many people here tonight that, um, uh, yeah, it's really special. Thank you. And we'll bring it up front to Connor. Connor Ferguson, always race day. Sorry about that. Mason, uh, your home track here, obviously, to Iowa. You came in here with all the confidence in the world, like you usually do. Uh, what do you think this repave is going to do for your cars, and do you think it'll be different than the rest of the fields the rest of the weekend or what are your thoughts on kind of what you saw out there yeah you know um at, at first when i heard about it i i was uh i was gonna i was pretty negative to, to be honest but um you know i'm gonna take the optimistic approach about it because it's really it's it's a new opportunity for everybody 
So what's it gonna do? You know, I, I'm I love old pavement. You know, the race runs place from great, fantastic finishes and shows and stuff, and to drivers racetrack. So whatever drivers hear the word replay and stuff, if you don't like it because it, it takes it just, sometimes it, it can hurt. But um, look, at the end of the day, myself and every other driver in the field tonight have the same racetrack to go battle on. So whoever's gonna do the best job as a, for adapting into it as a race car, as a driver, making adjustments for tonight is gonna win the race. So. Um, honestly, I think it's an advantage for me because it's a new track and way for everybody else that's competing in, and nobody else has laps. So throughout the whole notebook, and uh, let's just go see what we got. Uh, Mason, I'm Philip Jones from the Des Moines Register. Um, you know, you've had a fair amount of success here, but as you mentioned, it's been a while. You know, how excited are you to be back here? You know, tonight could be a sellout night. It's a Cup Series weekend for the first time. There's an energy here that there typically isn't a, on a normal Friday. So how excited are you to, to be back here tonight? No, I, I'm beyond ecstatic. Um, there's been so much lead up and build up and stuff, and I love doing all the, the media stuff and, and, and interacting with the fans and stuff, but I'm just really excited to strap on the helmet. But I live in the moments of like thriving off the, that energy and that the electricity of the fans and the driver intros and getting involved. I know we have a lot of people on our team that are gonna be handing out some rally towels throughout tonight. Um, so get everybody pumped up there, hopefully at, at driver intros and uh, God willing we take the lead and, and, and maybe something else. So um, yeah, that, um, um, that's one of the, the coolest things I'm looking forward to is, is that driver intro. Just, um, you know, I just I just know how hard everybody works uh, to come here and spend a lot of money to uh, see us perform. Um, and they, they and take everything that they have. So it means, it truly does mean the world to me to have that support and energy and, and everybody here tonight. Mason, I'm Mason, excuse me. Um, you are obviously a native of West Des Moines. How important is it to, to this community uh, it, as a whole to have this event here at this racetrack? Finally, we've got our, we've got the NASCAR Xfinity Series and the Cup Series. How important is that? Finally, for this area to have a cup race here, uh, I think it's it's so important. The people here at Iowa and all the motorsports fans and everybody at the track, they've worked so hard and tired of saying wanted this for so long. I mean, obviously that's probably the main goal since the inception. I would imagine to have a cup series race here, um, and uh, I think some people might have lost faith at one point that it wasn't ever going to happen. But then uh, you know here we are. So um, I am so happy for. The track. I'm so happy for the say everybody that was involved in putting this together because um, I truly believe that the people of Iowa have always deserved it. This facility's been on great racing shows and stuff. And uh, like I said, when we were working on this deal, it happened all before the announcement of NASCAR and uh, the Cup Series coming here and stuff. So when that happened, I was like, man, this is meant to be. Like, I need to be a part of this weekend. So I'm glad that we can uh, be the opener and, and maybe someday uh, be the closer to. So. Let's talk a little bit about tonight for you. You are, are coming in with a team that won their last race out on the West Coast. They won at Sonoma with Sam Mayer driving. That's got to give you a lot of confidence heading into tonight. What do you think your chances are at uh, scoring your second victory here at Iowa State? Yeah, I think they're as good as they've ever been. I mean, I, I you know, the, the team, um, the first moment that I walked into the shop, myself and Kevin and everybody, we all got along super you know, really well. The chemistry was just flowing from the, from the gate. Sometimes, you know, how it is in racing that can be a little tough because there's so many personalities and it's a tight knit community, but uh, we've gotten along really well. They built brand new race cars. They obviously really well. They won um, last week at Sonoma, so that that's, you know gives me confidence. But I think more so, the more important thing it gives everybody involved in the program, all the crew guys that have, you know haven't experienced that winning feeling yet, and now they know they can go out there and win. So coming in here with you know being the most recent winner, you know your your head's held high, your chest is up a little bit, and uh, you have the confidence to go do it from. Crew side from my side and, and everybody else involved.